ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is episode eight of Trendy Talks, and we have fan vote winner for behind the scenes staff. He said he would never do any kind of shoot interview, anything like that, but we got him. ALW General Manager, JM Gallo, and co-host, Mr. Adrenaline Junkie himself, Case and Kane. JM, first of all, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for being here, sir. Yeah. Now, second of all, tell the people about American Lucha, what you stand for, what you're about, all that jazz, where they can find y'all. No. Number no. one. <laughs> no. First question. It's, no, this is already going to a rough start. It's, it's at American Lucha, at every damn thing, or at Lucha American, because I fucked up and used it twice. And American Lucha stands for we're not polished, we're gritty. We let everybody break shit and do what they want to. And we're about the young talent. Growing up becoming superstars. And going somewhere else and not holding them back here. Okay. Okay. Maybe one day you boys will make it. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, I mean, you know, y'all been around for a minute, but yeah. So what do you have to say? You've been around, around for about three. But yeah. Time flies. So my first question for you, what is your earliest wrestling memory? Mm, about five years old, sitting on my grandmother's lap watching NWA after the 11 o'clock news on WRAL. She introduced me to wrestling. And a good story about my grandmother, I was going to show it to Lucha Dome. The day she passed away, got the phone call. But the show must go on, and she's the one who introduced me to wrestling. So, went to the show, dedicated to her, and everybody kicked ass and honored my grandmother, and I appreciated it. I've heard this story, but it was nicer the second time. Not gonna lie, I love that you got a close up on that for mm -hmm. this emotional story. Wonderful and close up, mm -hmm. close up, close up. Okay. <laughs> now. Casey, you want to take the second question? Yeah, man, I got a couple questions oh, for you. I just have a memory of an elephant. Um, he took so, the big guy bad pants advice and wrote his questions. To <laughs> okay, what's the best food for a big wrestling trip? So, one of those big car rides, you got to get something on the way. What do you get? Well, I'm a cheap motherfucker, as y'all know, so cook out. Cook out! <laughs> yeah! Um, you a tray guy, or you just like get some separate? What? Yeah, I get two trays, baby. Ooh, okay. That tray, oh, big boy. That tray is made to eat in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get one with the one with the huge sweet tea, and then one with the damn milkshake. Ooh. Okay, okay. That's, That's big boy. Gotta advice. get a carry That's tray. Right. <laughs> gotta get a drink tray. <laughs> yep. All right, my next question is, what is your funniest memory since you've been involved in wrestling? It can be a backstage story, somebody fucking up in the ring, you having to come in the back and be like, what the fuck was that? Something. I've got too many stories, but I can't see none of them in public because we'll fuck people up. <laughs> but, do variables. Like say X. Yeah, like you can say name. X. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to say They'll bleep it out. I'll, I'll say I'll something bleep it out. funny that I thought was funny that you did, and it was when Duke knocked you the fuck out. Oh, Duke did knock you the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you came back there and you can cussed see Duke it. out. Hold up. I did not cuss Duke out. You asked him what the fuck happened. I, I, everybody thought we were going to fight, and I came back there and I said, where the fuck is Duke? And everybody was trying to be all in our business, and I said, Every all y'all stay the fuck in here. So me and Duke went outside and said, "Hey man, what the fuck happened? I don't remember anything that just happened. You knocked me the fuck out." I just watched that video back like three days ago. And I was like, "Fuck, look at Lee, he's yeah. loopy as fuck." And that, that was that was just the combination of Duke having a little ring rust and me getting a little excited during the comeback. That's all. Bro, just to also keep the video at some length. You know, um, you remember the first time you booked me? Which time? I got knocked the fuck out. By X. <laughs> he said the name. He said Draco did it. We're Knocked shooting the fuck the out. I thought I got went up the lane immediately. It was like, hey man, throw me out. No, 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 no. I stayed in for four extra minutes. Yeah, I watched that. Okay, <laughs> and like, then just bumbling around. Yeah, just oh. bumbling around. And then when I do get thrown out, one of the fans says, "Get the fuck out of here." <laughs> and I'm, a, I'm a baby face, and I'm like. Well, fuck you then. Yeah, really, really up, well, fuck you then. <laughs> but that leads, me, that leads me to this question. Oh, I ask this question to everybody. Oh mm -hmm. boy. How big is Dave Batista's penis? Two inches from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was a good one. I have one more question for him, if that's okay. Oh, so, what's actually your favorite wrestler to watch? Now? Now. 
anytime, any wrestler, anytime, who's your favorite to watch? I wouldn't know now because I only watch our guys and stuff. Yeah. Um, but one of my top five all time is AJ Styles. Okay. Really like AJ shit. Yeah, my, um, the TNA shit back in the day was some of my favorite stuff. Of course, too. I'm a horseman guy, so anything Arn does, I'm yeah. a huge Arn guy. You like Brock? Brock's alright. Brock's alright. Brock, Brock's alright. What, what about Brad? <laughs> Let's not talk about it, Tudor. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got JD Moss over there acting like Danny Vegas with the stop sign. Oh, oh now he's walking off, we got him on camera. Oh, yeah. I'm on camera! He's it's too late now! I'll tell you something <laughs> underrated as hell. This old school guy. Nick fucking Botwinkle. Okay. Everybody yeah, who's a hill needs box, to look at some damn Nick Botwinkle and learn some shit. Because you don't have that's to right, always yell. Right. You oh, always yeah. don't have that's to yell and yeah. that's fucking crazy. You don't hear AWAs on these trendy talks. Well, that was unique. That's why I brought it up. Too. Hell yeah. Because man. every hill needs to watch a little Nick Botwinkle. In and out. No, I got two more for you. I'll oh, let you go because it's, it's a fucking busy day at show yeah. day. First one, Hulk Hogan has a new vape. It's Hollywood and Red and Yellow. Would you try it? Since I don't vape, I don't know. I don't know. Would you buy it though? Like a novelty item? Or when Casey comes over to talk shit. It's hope going to sign it at some point. <laughs> it's hope going to sign it at some point so I can sell it and make money. If you if you go to the beach out there. If I can sell them and make money, I'm buying both. I'm having them sign it. I'm gonna sell them on eBay, and make the money, and then run a sale off of what I'm making. There you go. And That's the JM Gallo answer. Yep. And my last question is: If you could book anybody, and usually I only say live, oh, yeah. but if you could book anybody dead or alive to come back have a match, zombie person, whatever, I don't give a shit how it happened, but it happened. Mm -hmm. Who would you pick? I would pick one that's alive and one that's dead. Okay. I'd like to see. It's Hill versus Hill, but it's going to be something I'd like to see. Arn Anderson versus Nick Bobbleman. There you go. Yeah, that'd be a good, good one. one. Yeah, it would be a nice technical battle. Old school back and forth, the shit that I like. So, yeah, that would be me. Excellent. Well, Excellent. there you have it. That was an awesome Trendy Tours, baby. That was a Trendy Talk. That's trendy why you're tour. the fucking co host. That's why I'm co host. Like fucking co host. We were just doing Trendy Tours a second ago. No. And we didn't even have trendy to do shoot stuff that I'm saving for the official shoot interview. Coming to you in a couple of years when I retire. You, you don't want to miss you that. You only catch it here on Trendy TV. You, you don't want to miss TV. that. Trendy TV, you messed up too, bro. At least I came close. But ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna burn every bridge. The we're stumbling land. and bumbling out of this frame. Thank y'all for watching. And Jackson Drake, thanks for the camera work, Danny. I love you. Oh wait, I didn't get to slap JM. Oh. <laughs>